Hey guys, we're over here at the college and I've had some requests recently to make some close-ups and videos of the cutaways you often see in the background or sometimes used in the training. And uh, we're pretty proud of these. We've made these right here at the college with students and project-based learning. We got uh, Mr. Vegas here, Ben. Uh, one of our students that actually uh, moved to Iowa here after watching our YouTube channel for uh, a couple years, something like that? Two years. Two years, okay. So love having you here, buddy. Let's make some YouTube videos of our own. What we got here is this is a 600 Ninja motor we got donated from a, a dealer up the salvage yard up the dealer, Kevin McNamara. Uh, very appreciative of this, by the way. I don't know if you've even seen this yet, but uh, we I want to make sure you see here the whole stand. And for you other educators out there, this is pretty cool because in these tubs are, this is all four stroke related parts. So I have a bunch of good and bad pistons, valves, cam chains, oil pumps, plane bearings bunch of four stroke stuff i'm going to come to the two stroke one here in a bit but notice the stand and all the parts so for you educators really cool way to organize things so they're not sitting in a corner and you get out and use them uh, on the motor itself here you can take a look one of the things we've done is we've also painted it like you see a lot of the oems do to have uh you know blue for intake green for antifreeze red for uh, exhaust and uh watch here as uh, ben turns it over and you can actually see the engine operate. We just put some real small valve springs in there. You can see the cams moving, the buckets, the valve spring. You see the piston go up and down. You even have the gasket in here, the rings. It's kind of cool. You can see the plane bearing on the crankshaft. Keep turning. You can see the transmission operate here while he's turning that. Go ahead and shift it. They can actually watch the transmission shift. Pretty cool. And then uh, in here you can see the oil filter cutaway. You can kind of peek down through here and they can see the crankshaft webs coming around. Oil pressure sensor switch. But check this out. I really, really love this Ninja one. And the students put a lot of hard work into uh, all the time in this with some guidance here. But I can do cam timing, cam chain. You can see the cutaway of the cam chain tensioner. You can see the valves opening and closing inside there and the piston again going up and down. So they really get to see all elements of this. We can do timing. We got our clutch basket here. One of the future things to do to this is actually, I've got the cover cut up to where I'm gonna be able to have an arm on there where we can watch the clutch engage and disengage. Uh, go ahead real quick, Ben, and shift the shifter for me. You can actually see the, the shift arm here being able to work back and forth. They can look under here and see the shift cam. One. See the oil pump turning. Pretty stinking cool. Let's hop over here to our two stroke. So the first one we did. The water jackets are pretty cool on this. See the combustion chamber and, and this one we even have uh, the power valves. Actually see inside here, watch and see the power valves operating. Pretty cool. See a cutaway here of the water pump and then you can see the the centrifugal arm for the power valves off the governor and the bearing there. Come underneath here, see the clutch basket, go ahead and rotate it again. Pretty cool. You see the water pump actually spinning. Great way to learn for these students, being able to have that visual and that 3D exposure. Here's that power valve cut away, pretty cool. You actually see it opening and closing, changing the size of the exhaust port there. Go ahead and rotate. See the ignition, the pickup, tells it when to spark. And where our future goal is, is to motorize this. Just haven't got that far yet. So it could just spin real slow and students could watch that. But you know, you see the intake and reeds. Here's a good shot or a cutaway of the reeds here. See that open and close. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Very useful. Think so? Yep. This one's pretty cool when we go to do suspension. This was uh, donated from a shop off a wrecked uh, 636 Ninja where we actually bent the fork to back, we straightened it, but this thing's pretty cool from being able to show the preload adjuster and how it would make the spring operate. You can actually see the bushings, you know, the spring itself, another bushing, the seal, the washer, the clip, the dust seal, everything cut away like that. Really cool. And this is pretty neat here to be able to see 
the adjuster here and how it will affect by changing the size of that orifice, how it'll slow or speed the oil that'll come through there. So it's a pretty neat uh, cutaway. Always working on some other different little things, cutting apart some fuel filters, you got a clear battery, you got an ignition coil that we cut open. That's pretty cool. You can see that. It's just one I grabbed at a junkyard. Well, there's a quick tour of some of the training aids that we use here and have made, and uh, it wasn't for great students, uh, none of this would be possible. So special thanks to those past students that have uh, worked on these. They'd be way too many numerous to name. Uh, they're all out working and, and uh, doing something in this industry, I'll tell you that. All right, make it a great day and keep, keep wrenching. wrenching. <laughs> if you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.